Shamai GTA chums have finally bought the Corsita and that's because it's on discount and that's the only reason I've bought it and it's on discount until Tuesday the 13th when a new DLC comes out so if you've got a legendary featured and there it is Corsita 1.2 million rather than 1.79 or it's 8 million um, so that is decent uh, I prefer I think the Cinquemilia um, the Ignis the Champion are all the, what they have us to consider for nice cars but this is one worth considering as well um, it's based on Maserati Maserati MC20, which may be a car that you fancy, so for that reason you may be purchasing it, and you won't be disappointed, it is a nice enough car to drive, super nice enough. Look at the engine, it's got exactly the same engine as all the, the other DLC car, fast cars, sports and things, look at that, exactly the same engine, <laughs> awesome. Um, they've all got the same engine, but they've got slightly different speeds. Um, actually, it's faster on lap time, I think, than the um, Torero XO, but I prefer Torero XO to drive because it's more slippy on the corners, I think. Actually, no, I do like this car, I've not driven it enough to set out yeah. Anyway, let's have a look at these bumpers. So you see the secondary, I've got this kind of horrible kind of blue colour um, that doesn't, I mean it's not horrible, it just doesn't go with the, well, the yellow. It's there to mark out the secondary colours and what they do. So I'm basically using it not as what my actual colours. Um, look at this, what is that all about? It's like a dish uh, in blue, that is too much blue. So let's, let's go with the secondary, not that one. That one, there we go. That's nice. Um, okay, let's go for the rear diffuser, see if we can get any blue involved. Oh, canards. I don't like canards. I'm not a fan. I like the blue, but I don't like that. Blue and canards with the chubby one. Let's go for that light blue one. I don't know. It just makes your car a bit wider. I don't know what that is. Pointless. Um, engine upgrade to the max. Exhaust. So we got these twin exhausts. Those are nice. Actually, they're good in dark. I do like to lighten things up, but they are with a quad exhaust. Even better. Oh, look at them big square ones. Bad boys. They're quite American looking, but we're going to put them on anyway. Grill. The Grillington. That looks like a Maserati grill. Weird, but I don't know. I don't know if it's this one. Maybe that one. That looks a bit mean, does it? And menacing. There's some chrome shark grill. I like those shark grills. They've had those on other cars. Shark R will definitely be doing that one. Or he has done that one. I can't remember. It's been so long since that DLC, so I can't remember what shark R went for. Let's go with the chrome. Just as a bit of a difference in colour. Um, lights, liveries. Oh, liveries, I've not looked at any of these. I mean, I've seen the videos, obviously, of other YouTubers. The reason why I didn't buy it is because it was done GTA Plus for free, and that always annoys me. So for that reason, I did not buy it. But I'm, I realise I've missed out, because I bought r utter rubbish from this DLC, like the Briesel 300, and the um, the, the um, Japanese ones. Those are terrible as well. Well, I quite like that, like, like that, but I don't want to be dominated by livery. How many times have I to tell you, Rockstar? So, maybe it's just going to be the white stripe or nothing, I think. Let's go with the white stripe. See what we can do with that. Um, right, we've got a livery. We've got the mudguards. Oh, I love a cow with mudguards. But it's ruined by those dinkly bits. Sorry. Um, maybe we need to use a secondary colour on mudguards. I know that some people don't like mudguards. So, for those people and those people alone, I'm putting black flaps on so you won't notice them. You won't worry about it. Plates. Licence. We've got to do this. It's brand new. Fun time. It's a fun car. And we are also going to do the respray now. Primary colour. I'm going to save money by doing classic because I'm getting something for free on this car. Even if it's just damned well colours. <laughs> I'm obviously not getting the car for free. What's race yellow look like? Looks a bit green in that light. Weird. This, these lights aren't the best. Let's look at lime green. There we go. I, I quite like the yellow. Got to be honest. Got to be honest. Of course I'm honest. I mean, oh, actually, we're doing this the wrong way around, don't we? We should be doing secondary colour first. Let's do secondary colour first. What about that? What do you feel? How do you feel about that? Oh, because otherwise we don't have the accent colour. We're doing the bright colour here. Let's just put blue on. Um, I'm going to sneeze. I think. Let's have a look at the green, the lime green. Let's go back to lime green. This isn't what I'm going to do. I quite like that. You know I do actually like that. It's wrong, I know. I know it's wrong. You know it's wrong. But it's so right. <laughs> okay, let's put the primary colour as something else. Come on. It's wrong, but so right. Come on. Look at that. Amazing. It's free. These are free. I quite like the mariner blue as well. No, light blue, sorry. It's not mariner blue. Where's, where's surf blue? Our favourite. That's, that is one of our, and the nautical blue is decent. It's difficult to know which one, which blue to choose. Are we going to choose a blue? Um, I think we are because I'm just mad for it. I was quite fancy in a grey, but grey is a bit like blue anyway. I mean, that is cast iron silver is great. I mean, maybe we should use that as a metallic. Actually, no, no, let's go metallic carbon black or something. Oh, it doesn't look as good as I thought it was going to look. Oh, but black steel does. That looks decent, I like that. 
Oh, these are metallics, that's why. Metals, I didn't mean that. Metals. There we go. Brushed black steel. That is the one, isn't it? Oh, we're paying money for it. Ten grand. Not gold, though. Definitely that one. There we go. Okay, we weren't sensible in the end. Reasonably sensible. Uh, but we still paid for it. Trim colour. So, we've got a grey. So, maybe we should go for something bluish. To go with the greyish colour. Where's the blue? That kind of a light, a light blue. Kind of an icy blue. What is it called? Mariner blue. Harbour blue, no. Surf blue looks nice. Sweet! Nautical blue, no. No. Ultra blue, no. Light blue. No, I think surf blue is the one for me. Definite. Um, crew emblem, because I don't like so. Okay, Roof. We're going to get to the driving bit soon. Oh, no, I don't want to pick that. I nearly picked it. I, I, I like it just with that, with the roof, because that roof is too much, isn't it? But no, we're not going to do it. We're going to go with the green on the roof. We are going to do it. It may be wrong, but we're still going to do it anyway. We started, so we'll finish. I see the customization is reasonably cheap for these the roofy bits, isn't it? It's quite good. I like, I like that vent on the roof. The engine's in the back, so it would be useful to have a vent, I think. Um, and actually, there's the carbon. Oh, what do we what do we do now? The carbon looks so good. Uh, <laughs> gonna do it. I'm assuming there's no others. Um, yeah, there are others, but they're all the same. Um, they all look the same to me. Um, right. Okay. Um, skirts. Oh, we need a lime green on the skirts. Yeah, definitely. I think that's the one. The secondary. We're not. Sp we're spending the minimum amount of money. It's quite a racy one, so we're gonna go with secondary splitter. I I'm assuming all the others are quite large. Oh, I like that. Look at that. Nice. We'll do that next time. I'll do that next time, don't worry. Splitters. <laughs> Here we go. Oh no, we've done that. Have we done that? We've done that already, haven't we? We already done that. We already done the splitters. Canards, innit? Oh, spoiler. This is the good bit. I tell you, this is what you tuned in for, the spoiler. Hopefully you just tuned in now. Look at the green. Look at the green. Now I lost my green accent on the roof. I've got to have that. Or some variant of it. Oh beastly. Look at that. It sticks out at the side. That's way too big, but I can use that. I can use that even more though. Definitely, there we go. We've got it in the end. Sun strips. We don't probably don't need any, but if we're going to use primary, I think. Let's have a look at. Oh, fuckaroo! Fuckaroo! Fuckaroo black. Got to be. Um, fuckaroo. Yeah, there we go. There we go. So it's all about suspension is there to the max. If you want to know what it is like with little suspension, there it is. There it is. Transmission. Okay. Turbo is on, windows, we won't go oh we don't we don't want to go black because we're, we're hiding the surf blue, that's the best bit about this car. Maybe we'll go like with a limo, kind of not limo, slight. Where's the wheels? You need to do the tires, tire enhancements, bulletproofs. Um I hadn't done that. I was gonna put no slip tires on, but it really doesn't need it. Let's put a green. Put a green tire design, we don't have it. We're done, we're done. Let's get out. Come on. Stop messing. Stop stop messing, kids. Get in bed. You little buggers. Yep, no, they don't. They've gone to bed. It's all right. The kids have gone to bed. What do you mean? I don't have children. Well, I, I just kidnapped some. What are you on about? No, I can't make a joke like that. Sorry, I'm just sleep deprived. That's all. Oh, look at that. Look at this. That is a nice looking car. Look at that. Is amazing. I've done a great job on there. You got to congratulate me there. You got to give me a comment on how awesome that is. This is a real wheel drive little beastie, and it's very nice and slippy. You know, people who hated. The 10F because it was too slippy around corners. Well, that's what this is like. <laughs> like the 10F. Um, it, I think it's with all the car. Oh no, the limo has tinted my engine. All cars with this engine have to have that slippy bounciness. It, I also noticed there was a bit of curb bounciness to it as well, which um, I noticed Ruffy13222 mentioned in his video as I've just repaired it since I discovered that. So um, it's in the sports class. And the top speed is decent. Ruffy says it's uh, one th one three one decimal three miles an hour, I think. Corsita. Second place out of this DLC. And I must admit, it's surprisingly good for me. I like it. Um, fifth in sports class overall for lap time. That is decent. You know, it's it's slower than your... Um, it's slower than your... T well, obviously, it's slower than the ones above it. The Atali GTO, the Atali... The other Italy. And of course, the fast the former fastest car in the game. Come on, chums. The what's it called? The uh, I can't even remember it now. It goes blank. The former fastest car in the game that they all used to go on about, but nobody does anymore. But it's a joy to drive. It's just 
Got so much slip though, it's difficult sometimes. It's quicker than the um, Torero XO, I think this. So that is good value. If you like the Torero XO, you are going to enjoy this as well because you enjoy the 10F. So Torero XO 10F, if you enjoy those style of cars, this is fun. I don't think I would personally race it because I would be smashing it all over the corners. A Pariah, that's what I was looking for. The Pariah has a faster lap time and I think the Pariah is easier to drive and you're going to get consistent, more consistent lap times purely because of the slip on the, the corners there, which is making it more tricky despite the decent top speed. You know, not as fast as a Pariah, is it? But it is good. It's good, worth considering on discount only. And obviously, if you got it on uh, GTA Plus, oh, look, electronic speed dials. I like that. Oh, 126, we're nearly at top speed. Although we all know these are notoriously wrong. No, he's in my way, man. Let's, oh, this is my favorite corner, isn't it? This is my favorite corner. Is that, what's your favorite corner? It's all around here, isn't it? This whole area is just favourite. Looks great, looks amazing. I mean, yeah, you've got the new, oh, you've got the new DLC coming, 13th of December, as you'll have seen my multiple videos saying that. Oh, from Tez2 and Rockstar now, so there we go. It's all confirmed, it's all coming in. So bear that in mind before you make any purchase this week. Ask yourself, do you really need it, or can you wait for the next discount to come along? Let's face it, if you don't buy this one, just buy the 10F when that's a discount, or a Torero XO when that's on discount. One of them will be on discount, surely. Oh, look at the bottom. You want to see the bottom of the car? There it is for people who wanted to know. All those fans saying, I never show you the bottom of cars. There it is. <laughs> it's a great car. Great car. I've not learned how to drive it yet. It's almost as if I've, I've forgotten how to drive the 10F. But I shouldn't have. Maybe there's something slightly different about this performance-wise that I'm just not getting, or maybe I'm just really tired. It's hard to know which is true. But another reason why you shouldn't drive when you're sleep-deprived after night sh a couple of night shifts. And this morning, the handover shift never came in. They make of that what you will. They obviously hate me and wanted me to stay pretty much an extra, well, an extra hour. 13-hour shift, my chums. Beat that. Beat that. What's the longest shift you've ever done? What's my longest? I think 20 hours is my longest. What's your longest week? 136. Beat that. <laughs> uh, the joys of the shift worker. Tell you what, kids, if you're if you're at school, right? If you're at school and watching this video, right? If you're at school and watch this video, try really hard to not get a job involving shift work. So work really hard at school on your school work because it ain't worth it. It's not worth it. Even a good job. Is it, if it's shift work, even, even if it's your dream job. If it involves shifts, just don't do it. Find your second best dream job that isn't shifts. Yeah? There's the advice from Daddy's kids. Follow it. <laughs> you won't. You won't. I never did. When old people said that to me, I said, no way. No way. I'm going to ignore you and I'm just going to do what I want. Let's face it, peer pressure. You're going to have a fun time. And why not? You know, you've got to live your, you've got to live your life. You can't live your life for tomorrow. Live it today. Great car. I'm enjoying it now. I'm really getting into it. Look, I'm crashing much less. So is it worth it? For 1.3 million, I'd say yes, it is very much worth it for the performance you're getting. It's very good, um, very good car. You could e you could even race it if you don't have any race car at all. But bear in mind, the Pariah costs 1.4 million and is slightly better. But you know, I find the Pariah is a bit. Actually, I could get used to this and I could race it. You just have to learn how to drive, basically. I have to learn how to drive. Great car. Nice, very nice. Um, so I recommend it. I'm really glad I got in, in this car. I finally bought it. I thought I was going to forget to buy it. So here's the review. Um, if you found it useful, drop a like. Give me your comments on what you think of this car, what you think of my driving. I know you're glad you're not in the car, right? That's why the last time I was allowed to drive the kids, one, one of them was sick. So they, they didn't let me drive the kids anymore. <laughs> there you go. How's about that then? That's, a, that's an awesome message to leave it on. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Smash.